Welcome back to the Mullet Family channel where we seek to ignite your faith, hope, and purpose in living as an overcomer. Wow, it's been six months since the release of our online content and we have a lot to share with you today on what's all been happening. First, Alicia has a doctor appointment today so we'll be sending you along with them as they go for that appointment and they'll be sharing an update as far as health and what's been going on with Alicia, a number of you have been asking. Also, um, Kyra has a birthday today. Happy birthday, Kyra. How old are you today? I am 11 years old. 11 years old. Are we doing something special for your birthday? Yes, I got the picture that we are. Okay, well, um, do you wanna give them one hint as to what dessert you're gonna be having for your birthday? It starts with a D and ends with a D. So you guys can figure that out. Also, we are going to be showing um, just a brief snapshot of what the last six months has been like behind the scenes. And so we'll be sharing that um, also in this vlog. Yes, actually those that are new, um, the last six months, six months ago, we transitioned from a traveling, uh, going to prisons, church type ministry to online content and developed two different series. One was a Weapons of Truth uh, series, Please. which was, um, it was praise. Weapons of Praise, so, which was uh, music videos. And the other was From Pain to Purpose Living Room Sessions. So if you aren't caught up on those, you can go back and watch them. But in the meantime, now that those seasons, those series are complete, we are asking ourselves the question, do we continue with this new venture? It was very unknown and we didn't know for sure what all um, was going to be happening with it. Um, or do we discontinue this venture? So in other words, what's the question we're asking, Shantaya? Are we going big or are we going home? That is to de be determined. So the first order of business is Alicia's doctor appointment. So I'm gonna hand over the camera to my mom and Alicia and they will take you along for that. We're on the way to the doctor's office. It's a new doctor in South Carolina. I'm looking forward to a good report. Um, I'll let mom explain a bit more about that. First of all, we'd like to thank you for just all the prayers and God has certainly been hearing those prayers. Uh, as many of you know, our family has been traveling about eight, nine months out of the year in prison and church ministry, but we've been home now for uh, a multiple, like for quite a while, trying to get some, find some healing for Alicia. Um, because of her heart transplant at three months old, her immune system is compromised and we had black mold that was in the bus that we were traveling in, uh, in the deck work, so we couldn't see it, we couldn't smell it. Uh, the rest of us were having some health issues, brain fog, heart palpitations, I had some episodes of passing out, and we did not realize that it was all connected. Uh, the bus has been remediated, but we found out that Alicia, um, through a doctor in Atlanta, ENT specialist, she has mold that has collected in her sinus area. Her sinuses are, are almost completely blocked with mold, and the only way to get that out of her system is through surgery. Uh, it's a balloon procedure, so it's less invasive, but he'll need to do that surgery. We were kind of hoping to be traveling this fall, but this ENT doctor said, you know, we really don't know if Alicia will ever be able to get in the bus again. Um, that was kind of a shock to, for us to hear that, but and we have had the mold remediated from our bus, but with the residual and with how sensitive she is, we are just praying for a huge miracle in that, that God would do that healing in Alicia's body. Um, we're holding just our future travel schedule, online content, just holding that with an open hand and trusting God with that. So. In order to do this surgery, he wanted her to see an otologist, which is a um, ear specialist, because he saw some things in the one ear that she might need surgery, uh, some procedures to take care of that before the sinus surgery. So we'll let you know. We'll give you an update after we leave the doctor's office, but we're praying for a good report. Alicia will need 
go back. We were there for two hours. Should need to go back in like three months. But the good report is that no surgery is needed for her ears, and he feels like it is a is safe for her to go ahead and have the balloon procedure done of her sinuses. Um, we'll have to wait and see when the cultures come back. Uh, but we felt like we got what we were praying for. So that is awesome. And the really neat thing too was at one point he was talking to us and he made the comment. He said, I am also a believer. And we, as we were just sharing a bit more um, about our story, Alicia's journey, you know, to hear him saying things like praise the Lord and just, uh, just that, that fellowship that we were able to have with him was really, really neat. So we just thank God we're overwhelmed at how he's bringing these different doctors into our lives that we had no idea. And just, yeah, there's a dermatologist who's a friend of his, and he's also a Christian, and he's, he's giving us some information with him as well. So we're very grateful. Um, so we are going to uh, fill in the rest of the family about what's going on, about the report, and then we'll show you some of the other things that we have been involved in this last, the last few months. We are super thankful to have the good report that we got from the doctor's office. That was really encouraging. So thank you again for all of your prayers um, in that regard. So now we're going to show you a little clip of what we've been doing the last six months in about 60 seconds. Um, we haven't just been filming videos, we've also been doing a number of other things, one of which comes with a special exciting announcement, a project that's going to be released in the next couple months that we've been working on for actually the last couple of years. So if you think you may know what that may be, leave a, a comment in the comment section and for now we'll get on to six months in 60 seconds. into our last few months. Obviously a lot more happened than what we actually captured on film, but that gives you a little idea. So now, hey guys, you wanna come and gather around? We are ready to make the announcement for the release that's happening in August. Uh, there will be something coming out. What is it, Shantaya? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what we're gonna announce. Do you know, Kyra? <laughs> All right, well, the adults of us know 
Um, we will be coming out with a From Pain to Purpose book that we've been working on for the last number of years. Dad, you want to tell us more about it? Yes, uh, several years we've been working on and we're uh, honored to partner with Dr. David Ferguson and Great Commandment uh, Network, also Broad Street Publishing, and developing a tool that will be able to be used for uh, people, whether you've experienced a loss or whether you're walking with someone that's experienced a loss, it'll be a tool, practical tool, to help them process that grief and that loss. We are really excited about this release and what all is going to be happening, so stay tuned for more details as we get close. So, all right, I think we're ready for some birthday celebration. You ready, Kyra? Yes. All right, let's go. For Kyra's birthday, instead of traditional birthday cake, she wanted donuts. And what we I normally make for donuts is in my cookbook, Better Way to Healthy, and they are the cream filled donuts and that is what she is wanting today for her birthday so that's what we're doing right now I just used fresh ground white whole wheat flour and I have sourdough here that's ready to be put in and we're going to get this mixed up so we can have donuts tonight is done. It's not as smooth or not as sticky and you want it fairly sticky but we're going to put it in a grease bowl here and we're going to let it set for at least six to six and a half hours. The dough has been rising. It's very active here. Since it's a sourdough I add a teaspoon of baking soda after it's been rising like this and the baking soda will help cut down on the sour taste because we don't want donuts to taste like sourdough. So it's very important to mix it in really well. So because of this release, our ministry schedule is going to look different than it would otherwise. So would you explain to us just what this next season of ministry is going to look like? Are we going big or going home? <laughs> So one of the uh, challenges we face, the dilemmas that we face in this next season of ministry is just especially as Alicia's health condition, her treatments and her care, and uh, she's currently not able to travel. And so, uh, and then with the new book coming out, normally there would be a tour that you would do with the book, and normally we would be touring, we would be traveling. So our problem is we don't, Alicia usually sings most of the lead part of the, uh, in the songs that we sing and also we have a website that is outdated it needs to be updated and uh, uh, so we are looking at uh, uh, and just been praying with these current limitations what are the options what can we determine to do so here's what we have it's, it's coming into focus uh, the picture is coming into focus between now and August we want to begin building a new website we want to finish the last minute details a lot of deadlines in when a book is released and so we have a lot of uh, deadlines to do there and then probably do a few tour dates right after the book is released there August September uh, we're talking through that I'm excited about what that could look like even with the limitation we're being stretched to figure out what those how to do something with the limitations and then uh, 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 and then in September, August, September, do some more filming so that we can start in October releasing more video content online. As we were here making donuts, we were brought back um, to a time when we made these donuts. Was it the first time you made them or the first one of the first recipes? Times. Yeah. But the circumstances were very different. Um, we were not in our house. Uh, we were in our motor home and we were on tour. Um, do you want to tell us a little about, about that? It was one evening that we had an open evening and I remember we just have a little table in the motor home and so we had a tiny space that we were working with and here partway through it was the donuts were rising 
and Dwayne, uh, we needed to stop at a Verizon store. So we were driving and I told him, oh be careful, don't go very fast because I was afraid the donuts would stop rising. We got to the Verizon store, I had to run in real quick, so we were frying donuts uh, sitting in the Verizon parking lot. And I think so, if I remember right, we weren't going to have to move because we were already at a Verizon store, but then they couldn't help us at that one and we needed to move over to a second one and that's what caused the problem. But they turned out, I think, from what I remember. They did. Right? I remember I was in there and I was doing what I needed to do and I told the guy at the counter I need to get out because I've got donuts ready to <laughs> fry in our RV. So. Oh, the things you do while on the road traveling. Putting frosting on to make it night, to make the it's donuts really beautiful. <laughs> For the inside. The filling. Do you know how to do that? I don't. <laughs> You're figuring it out? Figuring it out as I go. Yeah, here everything is sugar free and gluten free. Except now we're putting a little bit of some sprinkles on top because Kyra said she's never really had sprinkles. We don't eat sugar and these sprinkles here are natural. They don't have any artificial coloring in it so that's better. All right we're about ready to assemble the cake. I think so. means is that you won't be seeing a new video series on our channel for a few months as we're working on book related projects this summer but we will be keeping you informed about this whole process through vlogs we're gonna start doing vlogs our goal is about once a month and that way we can keep you updated with what's going on so Shantaya are we going big or going home well it's kind of neither but kind of both that's right, because we will be taking a break from online content so that we can then release some new content for you all in August and start a new video series in October. So, exciting times. Until next time, remember, live as an overcomer and stay in the fight. God bless.